How we doing, folks? Hey, we're gonna talk about immunity today, okay? Immunity against viruses, and specifically, how can we artificially create that immunity? So, this lesson that you're gonna be taking a look at today has to do with exactly that. How, how do you create a, a vaccine that's gonna allow your body to fight off something like a viral infection in a way that doesn't get you sick in the first place. This is kind of at the center of a lot of um, news stories and debates, and it's a big, big push right now, especially for, uh, for COVID, for the coronavirus, right? That's what we're, the race is to find this vaccine. This is an oversimplification, but it boils down to this. It's a wanted poster. This is what your body needs in order to fight a viral or sometimes a bacterial infection in a way that it will prevent you from getting sick. Um, and ultimately, if enough people have this wanted poster, they're gonna be able to create what we call a herd immunity, okay? So how does this work? Your body needs, your body needs to recognize an intruder and that's all a virus or bacteria are. They are intruders, right? They are intruders that are capable of making us sick, attacking our bodies, attacking our cells and making us sick. We will get sick until our body gets the upper hand, until our body figures out a way to fight uh, that intruder, right? And so how does it ultimately do that? Well, it has to be able to know that that's a bad guy that it has to fight. At the beginning, one of the reasons why viruses are able to make us sick, especially the coronavirus, is because the body has no idea what this intruder is. It doesn't recognize it at all. It doesn't think of it as a threat, and then it's too late. The virus has the upper hand, it attacks, it makes us sick, all right? But once the body figures out what's going on, it creates the equivalent of a wanted poster. This wanted poster is designed to let the rest of your body know, all the cells in your body know, that this is the bad guy. And that at all costs, you need to fight this bad guy. Okay? Get the upper hand and kill him before he can hurt you. Now, the way a vaccine works is we can create this wanted poster without ever getting you sick. Okay? Now, some of you might remember having to get uh, booster shots, right? You get a vaccine and then you have to go back to the doctor and get another booster shot. Um, and that's because after a while, your body starts to think, I, I can't remember what that, that guy looks like. And the memory starts to fade a little bit. So what you have to do is you have to post new wanted posters, okay, all around the body. And that's all a booster shot is. It's a reminder for your body to let them know, to let it know who the bad guy is who to attack, who to, you know, not let get the upper hand on you. At any rate, like I said, this is a terrible oversimplification, but that's also kind of what this uh, next lesson is all about. Trying to dig a little deeper into what these um, um, vaccines do, how they do what they do, and how do we make them, right? It's more than one type of vaccine. You're going to see that there are several types of vaccines. So... Um, take a look at the links and then address the question um, that I'm asking you, which basically is what's the, what's the COVID-19 vaccine ultimately going to look like, all right? doesn't exist now. Hopefully it will soon. What is it going to look like? And what are the pros and cons to the different types of, uh, of, of vaccines that we could use to create this COVID-19 vaccine? All right? So in the meantime... Hopefully this wanted poster helps you understand what's going on, okay? Be safe. Be well. Take care.